Well, it's almost 5 a.m. Zero 0500 for you military types. Let's go fly an airplane. Even the hotel is totally dark. Start selector. It's off. Air valves. Air and wrapped. NASA 426, ready for takeoff. NASA 426, clear for takeoff, runway 11. As we walk out to the aircraft to begin pre-flight, we always want to look it over and get a good idea of the general condition of the aircraft and its current state before we get in and start pre-flighting. At this point, we had already done the complete pre-flight of the aircraft, but unfortunately a maintenance issue slowed us down for a couple hours and we put the gear pins back in. So when I went out to pull the gear pins to get ready to go, I decided to break the camera back out and take you along with me. Since I was already in the wheel wells to pull the gear pins, it's always a good idea to check the fire bottles. Because it had been a few hours, I had the opportunity and the temperature had changed by a couple of degrees. The fire bottles contain the pressurized extinguishing agent that we depend on in the event that we get an engine cowl fire in flight or on the ground. You can see here that the scientists had not been out yet to pull all the covers off of their sensors. nice to walk through and not have a bunch of scientists in the way. It's IFR in the flight station again. Here you can see Rose cleaning the laser optical sensors. If you're familiar with the P3, you know these aren't typical. These are the cloud probes. Here, of course, you can see the inside of the cloud probes where all the tubing leads to the computer sensors. The air's at 81, here we go. One, button line, air. Rotation one, indicated. Confirm rotation one. Two, confirm fuel. This could be a long flight. 802. 804. Is that 804? <laughs> See, I can do this. <laughs> Normal start. As long as I have, well, I have one thing I'm concentrating on, I'll get it. It's always a good day when you get to do a little cloud surfing. Instrument. And 
it is a laser radar. It shoots a pulse of, of lasers, uh, a pulse laser beam into the atmosphere, and the uh, whatever's in the atmosphere, the light scatters off those particles and is received back into the instrument. And we generate a map below the aircraft. We call it a curve file of altitude versus time or altitude versus latitude longitude and the curtain looks something like this and so we map out either clouds as you can see here and where they're located or in aerosols as you can see here aerosols being dust smoke um, marine aerosols urban pollution it varies from where we are but now we're measuring mainly measuring smoke here in say otomini and so in this plot uh, we, we can tell at what altitude the aerosols are. The other teams use that to determine where we're going to fly later in the flight. And in this plot, it uh, really doesn't have a lot of information right now, but this is uh, the depolarization plot. And it, uh, uh, the level of depolarization tells more about what type of particle it is. In other words, smoke particles depolarize less, dust pulp particles depolarize more. And then from uh, once we gather a whole set of data, we bring it down to the ground and process the data and get a full uh, 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 complement of information about what type of uh, uh, aerosols that we flew over that day. more about how things happen on the on the plane afterward is Matt Smithers. Thanks Matt, I appreciate that. What we're going to do today is we're going to walk around here. After we land and get the aircraft shut down, we start the post-flight process. It is all hands on deck and everyone has an assigned task. Here I pass by the flap well to do a quick inspection on my way over to the fuel panel to tell Billy what the fuel load is to get ready for the next flight. Quick pan gives you a brief look at the flurry of activity going on during post flight. I hope you enjoyed the second episode of the NASA P3 on the Oracle's mission in Sao Tome. If you like what you see, consider subscribing and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you the next time.